Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. This video is about view model and view model is a part of MVVM model view view model. So to know how to work with this uh, concept and what is clean architecture using MVVM, you should be able to work with model view. And this is the introduction video about this whole topic. And in the next videos, I'm going to create practical examples to uh, teach you how to work with MVVM. But today, especially we are going to talk about the life cycle of the activity when we are uh, rotating the screen and uh, how we can use view model in this concept. Let's get started. Here I have a simple application. Uh, I have a button and a text. The text is holding value of uh, a variable equal to zero. And anytime I'm pressing this button, the value of it will be increment. Uh, so till now, everything works fine. But when I'm rotating the screen, as you can see, the count is zero. So what to do? Again, I'm pressing the button and I have a value and I'm going to uh, rotate the screen. And as you can see, there is no value here. Let's see what happens when we are rotating the screen first. In the channel, I have a full video about the life cycle of an activity. But uh, here I'm going to use a small part of it to show you what happens when we are opening a new activity and also closing a new activity. When we are opening a new activity, the activity will launch. Then functions on create, on start, and on resume will call one by one. And finally, we'll have a running activity. So uh, when we are rotating the screen, this current activity will be destroyed. So the functions on pause, on a stop, and finally on destroy will call. And then the activity will shut down. And when the rotation is complete, again, from the beginning, you will have the on create, on a start, and on resume, and we will have a running activity just like this. So anything that attaches to the view will be destroyed. Uh, the whole view, anything that uses the context of the activity or fragment or something like that will be destroyed. So what to do to have the data that we had on the screen? We have to store them somewhere else and separate them from the view. That's why we are using MVVM and other uh, approaches to this. That's why we are using uh, view model. Let's go back to the Android Studio and I will show you how to fix this problem. First, let's see what we have here. We have a variable mutable state of zero. This is the default value of it. We have a column. Inside the column, we have a text, a spacer, and a button. And when I'm clicking on the button, the count, which is our variable, will be plus plus, incrementing. And the, the value of it will be displayed on the text. Uh, now, we want to use the view model to solve this problem. Here in the root package, I'm going to create a class and calling it main view model. It inherits from the view model. In the body of this class, I'm going to create a variable, calling it uh, count equals to zero. And a function to increment uh, the count. And uh,
in the body of the function i'm going to write count plus plus uh, so the process that we had here will happen here and now we have to call this class from the main activity here i'm going to create a variable a value calling it view model and equals to view model provider then we have to pass the context as the owner and finally uh, the class that we have created class dot java now we can use this value to have access to this uh, uh, view model that we have created uh, how we can use it here inside of this button we are not going to use this count anymore and uh, here instead the view model dot the increment count so whenever we are pressing the button we are calling this function and the value of count will be incremented now we have to read uh, the value of this variable and display it there how we can do this just like this this time i'm going to write count which is this one equals to view model dot count uh, let's change the name of this variable it will be better rename it to number now we have two different variables and you can see okay the count is equal to view model dot number and uh, that's it for here we incremented this and we called it and now uh, we will display it here in the text let's check it okay now let's rotate the screen as you can see the count is zero but when i'm pressing the button it will continue counting again where is this a small button okay it's here and it's continue counting we have a still a small problem and after rotation we will have the value equal to zero let's solve this as well here outside of the column i'm going to copy this line and paste it here as well so before we are pressing the button after the view is created the set content view uh, will be called and here we will have the value coming from the view model okay the value is zero i'm incrementing it number seven rotating the screen and as you can see it's a still seven continuing and let's have it in vertical mode and you can see that the view is all the time constant here so that's why we are using the view model and how we can use it uh, this was everything that I wanted to tell you about the view model and in the next videos I'm going to explain more about the clean architecture and we will have practical examples about it. Thank you very much for your time. If you are for the first time here, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it. Uh, if you have any question, any comments, write them down below in the comment box and i will be so happy to read and answer them and have a good time bye bye